You know, we got a comment the other day on our video that we did last year on how we preserve our banana peppers. And it, and it talked about us not really walking through the process of what ingredients and, and how we actually preserve them. We kind of talked about it, I guess, but weren't really thorough about it. So guess what? We're making a video on how we preserve these and how we pickle them. And it's coming right here. Stay tuned. Hey folks, welcome back to the Rock and Sea Homestead. My name is Lance. I want to welcome you to our channel. And as you can see, we're in the kitchen and we are going to be preserving banana peppers today. So we have about five pounds of banana peppers that we picked yesterday or the day before. And we're going to make three pounds of them into pickled peppers, just like this. Just like what you'd get at like uh, Subway on your sandwiches. It's going to look like that. Uh, probably our fourth batch that we've made of those this year. And then this batch here, we're actually going to slice some of them long ways and we're going to freeze them and we're going to put those aside for like some uh, pepper poppers later on. And then the rest, we're just going to cut in rings and freeze them. And we'll uh, just use those on salads or whatever else we may have if we don't want them pickled. So that's what we're going to do. These are some ingredients that we're going to have. Uh, the ingredient that we use, or the recipe that we use, I should say, calls for white vinegar, apple cider vinegar, some sugar, and uh, mustard seed, and some celery seed. And we're gonna link the recipe down below in the description. And as we get further along, as we start cooking this stuff, we'll actually bring you guys along and show you exactly what that is and give you the, the uh, measurements and all that kind of stuff. But we gotta get these things cut so we can get this stuff canned. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna cut these banana peppers and you see this one stood out there a little longer, so it's kind of turning an orangish red. We got a couple other ones like that. It's nothing's bad on the pepper. Doesn't really change the flavor. It just kind of looks a little different and it looks kind of cool in the jar, actually, if you ask me. But so what I typically do, I'll just cut off the top and then I have a pretty skinny knife. And so I run it backwards along the inside and that will usually get at the little core that's in there usually. Sometimes you have to go a little deeper. And what I'm trying to do is get that core out with most of the peppers or most of the seeds from the pepper. And then, and then what we'll do, we'll actually wash this and make sure all the seeds are out. But just to kind of show you what we'll do after this is then we will cut them in little rings, probably about that thin. So not very thick at all. And then we'll cut them all like that. And then when we're ready to put them in the jar, we'll have the heated jars and we'll stuff them as stuff as full as we can get them, pour the hot liquid on them and then can them. But we're gonna show you all that. But that's about how we're gonna do And Like I said, we got three pounds of them here to, to prep. So let's get them prepped. So these are the halves that were that we cut for some pepper poppers later on in the year. We're just gonna stick them on here, put them in the freezer, let them freeze, and then we'll put them in a baggie so they don't stick together. And they work out really good. We've done this with bell peppers and some other peppers and they've done really well, so. We got all of the peppers prepped and cut and ready to go. Now we have to get the brine started. And this brine, we're gonna double the recipe but typically, make sure I got this right here. And again, we're gonna put this down in the, in the description. But two cups of white vinegar, two cups of apple cider vinegar, a cup of sugar, and we're using this Domino Pure Cane Sugar. 
Um, one teaspoon of celery seed, one teaspoon of mustard seed, and then it talks about a pound of banana pepper stuff in there and rings and stuff. So again, like I said, we're doubling this, so we're doing four of the white vinegar. We're gonna do two cups of sugar. And two, two teaspoons each of the seasoning, the mustard and celery seed. And then I gotta do four cups of apple cider vinegar here. And we get all this mixed up, incorporated, and we bring it up to a boil. All right, as you can see, the brine is boiling. And let me tell you, you don't want to take a big whiff of it because it's stout. All that vinegar in there, whoo, hurts you. So we have our jars in here. We're going to take them out. And we do have, these have been sterilized. We had them in boiling water for like 30 minutes. And we just kept them warm in the oven at 170 degrees. And then we, at this point, since they're warm, that's gonna be warm. That's how we wanna keep it. So we're gonna start stuffing these. And I stuff them as best as I can. Cause as soon as you start putting some of that liquid, they kind of shrink up a little bit. But the recipe does say that you want to keep a half inch of head space, which is the space between the top on the top of the of the stuff inside of it. Oh my gosh, I'm getting them everywhere. All right, so we got the jars all prepped with the peppers in there. Those are the little half pints. And when the bigger ones are pints. So I kind of start off just putting one ladle full in the half pints kind of see where that settles out and I usually top it off here in a little bit Now the recipe that we're making, this can actually just be put in the fridge at this point. If you just want to put on a lid and a, and a seal, put it in the fridge. It'll last for a, a month or two. Um, usually you want to wait about a week before you eat any of it. That just lets all those things kind of combine and get juicy and, and all that fun stuff that happens inside of it. We're going to can these, so we're going to actually process them out completely in our water bath. But before we put on the rings and the lids, we're gonna wash off the top of the lids here with some vinegar on a, on a paper towel. It just cleans off that, the top of it and, the, and where the screw's on there, so make sure everything's nice and clean. That just ensures for a proper seal. And you just need to close these finger tight. And then once we get all of them done, we'll put them in the water bath. So we got all these jars finger tight. And we just want to put them in our water bath here. Yeah. 
Okay, then we'll wait till that gets back up to temperature. It will not take long. And then I think the recipe says for 10 minutes, I'll double check that and we'll put that in the description. But 10 minutes, we have to adjust for our elevation here in Oklahoma, so we have to add five minutes. So we'll, once it comes up to boil, we will water bath these for 15 minutes. And then once they're done, we'll let them set for five minutes and then take them out and then we're done. Okay, we've had these in the water bath for 15 minutes plus five extras. Now we're gonna take them out. These things are super hot, so you definitely wanna use the little device. And at this point, we're just letting them cool down and waiting for all of the lids to seal. And you're hear a little popping noise. Hopefully we'll hear one. All right, and that's how you do it. So like I said, the uh, recipe will be down in the description. We really appreciate you guys watching our videos. There should be some videos popping up over here to the side. Make sure you go and watch those. There'll be a playlist and then there'll be one that's made out just for you. That's going to, I don't know how the YouTube, uh, YouTube people figure that out for the best for the viewers. So that'd be right over here for you as well. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love for you to subscribe, ring that bell. So you get notified every time we put out a video. If you haven't checked us out on Facebook or Instagram, check us out over there. Those links are down below in the description. And from our home city of yours, have a blessed day and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye. Thank you.